namaste dear students uh, today we will discuss another poem which is prescribed for ba basic english first semester rani chennamma university belagavi the title of the poem is true love or sonnet 116 which is written by one of the greatest dramatists poets of all time that is none other than william shakespeare uh, and i am basavraj bilgi assistant professor of english gfgc yaragatti to introduce the poem it is a sonnet uh, which is also called as true love the sonnet belongs to the poet's first series of sonnets which are addressed to mr w h who is a young man and who is very charm who possess physical charm uh, the theme of the sonnet is love almost all the sonnets of william shakespeare or the elizabethan period are written on the themes of love lust and friendship and this particular sonnet sonnet number 116 deals with the theme of love the first line of the sonnet reads like this let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediment love is not love by reading the first line we can understand that the poem is going to tell us about true love the poem talks about the love that does not change when uh, the circumstances forces it to change and uh, William Shakespeare is of the opinion that love which changes when circumstances change is not love at all rather it is an attraction according to William Shakespeare if love changes uh, with the force of circumstances or situation it is nothing but the attraction sensual attraction sexual attraction or lust uh, once two true minds get united in love nothing can change or separate them when the two true minds two like minded people get united in love nothing can change their mind or separate those two lovers and nothing means not even nature can separate the true lovers that's what william shakespeare says uh, no external force or influence however it is strong can sever the bond between true minds united in love when two people are united in love no external force can bring about gulf between them no external force no external power even the natural process the nat- the process of change that happens in nature can also not separate these true minds william shakespeare says now we will see something about the poet william shakespeare as you all know was a english playwright poet and actor 
who is considered to be one of the greatest proponents of english language in the history of english language and english literature he is considered to be the greatest dramatist the world has ever seen uh, he, he he is called with a sobric that is bard of avon or simply he is called as the bard b a r d bard means a bird a singing bird that sings about the glory of british the glory of british culture and the glory of english language uh, william shakespeare has written 39 dramas and 154 sonnets and also has written two long narrative poems the plays which are written by william shakespeare are translated into every major living language of the world and the plays of william shakespeare are performed more often than those of any other playwright in english literature now we will see the structure of sonnet 116 Uh, sonnet 116 is written in the tradition of english or shakespearean sonnet uh, the sonnet is divided into two into two groups one is italian sonnet and another one is english sonnet or it is also called as shakespearean sonnet and uh, the present sonnet sonnet 116 falls under the heading of shakespearean sonnet or english sonnet the english sonnet has three quatrains quatrains q u a r quatrains means a uh, stanza of four lines nalku uh, line gala ondu stanza is called as quatrains three quatrains followed by a final rhyming couplet the english sonnet or the shakespearean sonnet contains three quatrains and a couplet so now we can understand that sonnet is a poem which is written in 14 lines 14 hadinalku ಸಾಲುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆದಿರುವಂತಹ ಕವಿತೆಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸೊನೆಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಸುನೀತಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಬಹುದು ದ ಕಪ್ಲೆಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ದ ಟಿಪಿಕಲ್ ರೈಮ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಇ ಎಫ್ ಇ ಎಫ್ ಜಿ ಜಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೈಮ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಸೊನೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ ಸೊನೆಟ್ sonnet 116 or true love we will read the sonnet and then we'll discuss uh, the sonnet love uh, line by line let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove uh the the first line let me not to the marriage of true minds immediately sets forth what the poem is going to going to tell us the first line by by the first line we mean that love that which changes with circumstances is not love ಕವಿಯ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಒತ್ತಡಗಳಿಂದ ಬದಲಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಕವಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಯರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸುವ್ಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ಲಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲಕ್ಕೆ ಬದಲಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತಹ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸುವಲ್ ಅಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಷ
and lust but not love once two true minds get united in love nothing can change or separate them when two true minds are united in 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 a bond nothing can bring about a change in their mindset and nothing can destroy such love which uh, is which cannot be destroyed he says no remover can remove can ever bend true love uh, love true love cannot be altered with the time true love cannot be altered a l t e r a t i o n alteration antandre badalavane badalavane athwa change true love cannot be altered by the external forces or the circumstances or the situations which we find in our life uh, no external force can bring about any change or bends with the remover to remove you you cannot bend true love even with a remover oh no it is an ever fixed mark true love is like a fixed mark which cannot be changed by anything even nature cannot change the mark that has been put by the true love that looks on tempests and is never shaken even at the time when there are huge tempests dodda birugali bitru kuda true love will not shake nijavadantaha preetiyanna entaha birugali bitru kuda badalisuvudakke aagudilla anta kavi helthane it is the star to every wandering bark true love is a star yav star re belige belli chukki anta karithivalla adu true love is like the star to every wandering bark samudradalli niu navu nodirthivi enu antandre hadagugalu b a r k bark antandre hadagugalu when the ships travel on the sea they the, the captain of the ship looks at the stars for getting direction a hadagina navika avarige nakshatragalu dari tortave ade riti preeti nijavadantaha preeti obba vyaktiya jeevanadalli dariyanna tortade anta the poet says true love is a star that guides the ships in the sea dodda brahakarada samudradala samudradalli pravasa maduvantaha samayadalli yava reeti nakshatragalu namage margadarshanavanna maartavalla ade reeti true love guides people says the poet whose worth is unknown although his height be taken Uh, the the worth of true love cannot be measured we cannot measure the height of the stars that is how we cannot measure the value of true love we cannot measure the depth of true love we cannot measure the vastness of true love as the stars are universal that is how true love is also universal and uh, it cannot be measured the poet says love is not time's fool true love will not change as the time passes samaya kaladante nijavadantaha preeti badalagta hogudilla rather it goes on growing as time passes ಸಮಯದ ಜೊತೆಗೇ ನಿಜವಾದ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಬೆಳೀತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಹೊರತು ಅದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದೋ ರೋಜಿ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೀಕ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಯಂಗ್ 
we are very beautiful we are very handsome and we feel very proud about our beauty we we feel very proud about our body but as the time passes we lose the charm in our face we lose the handsomeness of our body we lose the beauty of our face but true love doesn't change even when you are old if you are truly in love with a person you will not get tired of that person the poet says when the cheeks have got nama gallagalalli nerigegalu biddu iddagiyu kuda if it is true love it will not change within his bending sickles compass kam sickle s i c k l e sickle antadre kudugodu when we are old our uh, wrists our sorry our hips will bend nama bend bagi namage vayasagi nadiyodakke barade iddagyu kuda kai nadutirthavi nama nama kaalugalu naduguvantaha samayadallu kuda if it is true love your love will not change and true love is like a compass compass antandre trijja anta karithidu compass means idu ondu love is a circle which doesn't have end ondu round aagi namu gereyanna hodidvi antandre we will not be able to find the end point of that line that's what the poet says there is no end to love to true love love alters not with his brief hours and weeks preeti nijavadantaha preeti true love will not alter itself with his brief hours and weeks we the human beings will not live for a long time on earth and we will we are very transient we will not live permanently on this earth but love is permanent when even people may die people may die lovers may die lovers may lose their beauty lovers may lose their handsomeness but true love will not lose its charm forever but bears it out even to the edge of doom enta kashta kaladalli kuda true love holds your hand and guides you towards light the poet says kaviya prakara nijavadantaha preeti namma saavina samayadallu kuda namma jothege nintu namma kaiyanna hididu namage dhairyavanna tumbuvantaha kelasavanna maartade anta the poet says now we we have come to the concluding part of the poem that is couplet uh, we have discussed three quatrains nalku saalugala moru stanza galanna nam illi varigu discuss madidivu illi varigu nu the poet has went on uh, defining the qualities of love illi varigu nu nijavadantaha preetiya nija preetiya ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನು ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾನೆ ಕವಿ ಕೊನೆ ಎರಡು ಲೈನ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಚಾಲೆಂಜನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ತಾನೆ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ದ ರೀಡರ್ ಅದು ಯಾವ ಚಾಲೆಂಜ್ ನೋಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿ ಎರರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಮಿ ಪ್ರೂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿ ಎರರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೂ ಇಫ್ 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 ಯು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಲವ್ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೂ ಏನು ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನು ನಾನು ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆನಲ್ಲ ನಿಜ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೂ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಬಂದೇನಲ್ಲ ಅವುಗಳೇನಾದರೂ ತಪ್ಪು ಅಂತ ನೀನು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೈ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಲವ್ ಐ ನೆವರ್ ರಿಟ್ ನಾನು ಎಂದೆಂದಿಗೂ ಬರೆಯುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ prove me wrong about the qualities of true love i will never write a single word in my life nor no man ever loved if this is wrong about the true love 
ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೂ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ತಪ್ಪು ಅಂತ ನೀನು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇ ಆದರೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ರಿಟ್ ನಾರ್ ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಎವರ್ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಈ ಜಗತ್ತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಂದರವಾದಂತಹ ಅಜರಾಮರವಾದಂತಹ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಕಥೆಗಳು ಇರುತ್ತಿದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಪ್ಲೆಡ್ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕವಿಯು ತನ್ನನ್ನು ತಾನು ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾನೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದಂತಹ ನಿಜ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಗುಣಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಸರಿ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಅಂತ ತನ್ನನ್ನು ತಾನು ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾನೆ ಡಿಫೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಟು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ವಿಲಿಯಮ್ ಶೇಕ್ಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಸೊನೆಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೂಪರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ಸ್ಮೆನ್ಶಿಪ್ his mastery over language his ability of creating pictures with words and imbibing these pictures with life to voice his thoughts shakespeare is a past master in the choice and use of metaphors as evidenced by the metaphor of the pole star in this poem metaphor antandre a figure of speech ಕವಿಯು ಫಿಗರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಾನೆ ಹಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಟಫರ್ಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ನೋಡಿ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಲವ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ವಾಂಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬಾರ್ಕ್ ದ ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಐಸ್ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರಗಳ ಒಂದು ಚಿತ್ರಣವೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಣ್ಮುಂದೆ ಬಂದು ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ when we hear the word of sip uh, bark the sip comes in front of our eyes that is how william shakespeare was very ably has used english language in his poetry thank you very much